want to know? Today, we're going to bring down all the red flags about the home rental industry with Chris. Hello, my name is Chris. Uh, I'm the founder of Deconstruct. We are a renovation platform. La. So, you are not exactly an ID. Mm. You are also not a contractor. Yeah. So, why are you? <laughs> People call me a policeman. La. What we went out to do was to really to validate each and every ID down to the individual ID level. Yeah. Wow, but there are so many like IDs out there, so many contractors out mm. there. Okay, so let's find out more through a game of darts. If I win at the end of the game, you have to share a trade secret about the Renault industry. And if you win, right, I give you all the time to share your green flags or promote your business. Sure. Yeah. But you sure the darts or not? I play darts, one, eh? Huh? Huh? Wow. <laughs> okay, breaking news. I lost. Yay. <laughs> okay, so um Chris, take your time. Actually for us it's quite straightforward la. We will definitely hand to heart try our best to fix the renovation industry. Right? To bring about the reliability and also significant cost savings for homeowners. La. So nice. Yeah. Anyway, you want a bonus tip since you were not bad, lah. Of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. For homeowners also, like, actually, this might offend a few people, lah. But from what I see, ninety-five percent of the time, the renovation packages, right? Try not to take, lah. Why? The renovation package, ah, most of the time is to reel you in one because they will put cheap pricing, right? Yeah. Then you thought it's cheap, right? But actually, right, no two houses will be the same, so you always need to add on stuff. The moment you add on stuff, uh, they sure talk you on. Sometimes they'll put the carpentry like length a bit too short, right? Then you're like, what lane, 60 how I do my kitchen carpentry, right? Then yeah. you need to add on. Net net you might be paying the same lah, but it just doesn't feel good lor, as a yeah. homeowner. You just want to pay the real price, ma. If an ID is your friend, is that a red flag or a green flag? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Asking for you sure the friend is not you. <laughs> <laughs> it can go both ways from what we see, right? If your friend is really your friend, yeah. Your friend will give you at a cheaper rate, uh, uh -huh. will lower the margin, will really help you la, because it's a friend. Yeah. If they know you are your friend, right, you more or less will come with me, right? Sometimes I mark a little bit higher. La, because they know about yeah. in the back already. So normally you'll go these two ways. See, if I have the same list of things that I want, then I go and approach like two different mm. firms. Does mm. that mean that the lower quote is a red flag? No. It goes back down to whether you know what the true market price is really. Right? So if you don't know what the benchmark is, right? You don't know whether the one who is charging higher, right? Mm. Is it the person added in a lot of random things that you don't need? Or is it the person has been marking up a lot higher than necessary? Right? Meanwhile, the one who is lower actually may be just giving you whatever that you need. Nothing extra, no fancy stuff, but really exactly what you need. That's why they are lower. So how do you tell if a client is a red flag? One biggest indicator uh, is if the homeowner keeps saying things that make it seem as though they know more than the ID. For example, the grout line in between the top. Mm. You specify what grout brand you should use. You know those kind of stuff which which is not very like like intuitive to people, right? But then yeah. they'll go down to their very extent. So sometimes quite poor thing uh, the ID. Oh. And the worst thing is, right, you always think contractors are cheaper than IDs. That's yeah. why you find that. But that's not true. So. Oh. Yeah. That's not true. Tell us in the comments what red flags and green flags of other profession you want to know.